Did you know there is a way of working with the six-syllable mantra of the Buddha of Compassion that can generate massive amounts of bliss? Not only bliss, but productive bliss. Because let's face it, bliss is great, but it's only really useful if it increases our compassion and our wisdom. What kind of wisdom? The wisdom to... Uh, Invent a longer-lasting light bulb? No. The Buddha's wisdom of letting go. So, we begin with getting you acquainted with the six-syllable mantra. It is quite simply, Om Mani Padme Hum. So, Om rhymes with the word Hum. Ma is which you might call your mother. Hey, Ma! Ni, well, that's the joint just below your thigh. Pod, well, that's the first syllable of Padre, which not only is Spanish for father, but also is a baseball team in San Diego. May, like the month. Mother, may I? And whom, like the phrase, um, whom shall I say is calling? Now, there are many ways to work with the mantra. You can recite it silently. You can whisper it. You can sing it. Or, in this case, we can intone it. And this is an example of intoning the six-syllable mantra. Um, ma. So you'll notice that the first syllable and the last syllable are protracted. When you really get into the first syllable, it can unleash massive amounts of bliss. And the last syllable, by tuning into the fade out, you can really explore letting go. So let's play with that right now. First, let's. Uh, really check our posture, make sure we're sitting up, sitting properly, feet flat on the ground, hands up to the side, palms up, and let's really get into that first uh, syllable. Um, That fade-out during the last syllable is important. It helps us to actively participate in the process of letting go. When you have so much air in the lungs, um, you can only recite the last syllable so long. So to deliberately participate in the process of letting go can really, really help us. And bear in mind that as we are mentally letting go, we're physically relaxing. So now, let's bring that awareness into the recitation, or the intoning of the six-syllable mantra. Um, make this even more powerful now, to make the bliss less self-involved and less hedonistic and make it more meaningful. Let's combine the bliss with love. Love that longs to bestow joy upon the heart of every living being. That is not a question of emotion, that's a question of intention or of will. And we can use that by, ask, by mentally reciting words silently and mentally during the in-breath. For instance, we can mentally recite the phrase, May everyone be lavished with great joy right now. And then on the out breath, we can recite the mani together. Let's do that right now. Om mani 
พรเมหุYou can do that for three times, and then for another three times on the in breath, we can ask, "What could completely letting go feel like?" Let's do that right now. Om Mani Padme So you do three repetitions or three rounds of. May everyone be lavish with great joy right now. Om Mani Padme Hum. Followed by three rounds of what could complete letting go feel like. Om Mani Padme Hum. Do that twice a day, every day, and you'll feel more blissful. In fact, if you get good at it, you'll feel as much bliss as a man can feel with his clothes on. <laughs> May you and yours be healthy and happy. Om mani padme hum.